Start assembly by inserting the drill rod into the cop rod section. Insert the end of the rod without stop lugs first. Grease the thread of the end piece and thread it onto the section. Put on the protective plastic cap. Disassembly begins by removing the yellow plastic cap. Then remove the end piece. Pull out the drill rod. Inside the tube, there is a guide tube which holds the rod in the right position. The guide tube has channels that distribute air to the cop rod head and bit. This guide tube should be undamaged so as to ensure free flow of air through the tube. The tube must be replaced if the guide tube is severely damaged. Check the end surfaces of the rod. Damage can be repaired using a file or grinder. When the end of the rod is worn to the same level as the bottom of the recess in the center of the rod, it is worn out and should be replaced. The stop lugs or wings should also be checked and adjusted if they are damaged. It is also important to check the threads of the tube and the rod guide that holds the rod in position. The tube or rod guide can be replaced separately if they are damaged. Measure the outer diameter of the tube in several places. Make sure the tube is replaced if it is worn down to the minimum recommended diameter. Also check the end piece to ensure that both the rod guide inside and the threads are not damaged.